Good morning. This is uh, the NIM programming live stream. Uh, today's topic is uh, improving the NIM Pretty tool. And uh, I don't know the issue, like Miran. Uh, the issue is one one six nine nine. I will send you the link on IRC. Okay. Okay. So anyway, uh, before I'm, uh, uh, it's are uh, you. Uh, oh. Okay. Um, so I've been thinking about this, like not about this bug, but how Nim pretty should, should be in general. And since Nim pretty is <clears throat> should should say simple and this means predictable and this means one guideline is don't mess with my new lines so if i if i make a split here then it should stay there, but there's an exception, and this is, the <laughs> uh, and this is the bug where like this, uh, uh, how to put it? Um, well, of course. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, that, because that's what, that's what even makes current, it difficult. Yeah, um, because even currently we have a part of Nim Pretty that does some concatenation of lines. Yeah, um, but you don't like it, I guess. So, um. How to put it, there, there, there are new lines that... So Nim pretty shouldn't touch my new lines. However, if it introduces new new lines, then it might reconsider my own new lines. Mm -hmm. That's that's one rule, I think. Yeah. And this is what happens, yeah. Um, and well, let's, let's look at what it does. And then we go into the detail. Uh, there is also alignment that we could detect. But let's see. Uh, it's not pretty. Not pretty. Out. Is it out? Output. Output? Yeah. Really? That's how I do it on my machine, yeah. <laughs> but, it's, but for the NIM compiler, it's out. Yeah, here is output. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, you see output file. That's so, out. I, I mean, output still works, but should be yeah, yeah. consistent with NIM. Um, yeah. Tempo. Uh, yeah, like this. And you need file name. You need temp. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it will do in this case. Yeah. 
Do we have to go now? Yeah, we do. And it, yeah, okay. Uh-huh. So, uh, one th it other, try, yeah. yeah. It tries to indent more because it thinks, this is what it usually does. It, it usually indents more, but here it's, it's wrong because it, it's inside of brackets. Usually yeah. if we have a more yeah. than a if statement, it would indent it like this. Okay. Uh, so and your fix was? Well, my fix was to not indent and then uh, to concatenate lines 20 and 21. So it looks better, but it breaks one test code. Uh, I need to read your pull request. <laughs> um, yeah, so one remark that I did on this pull request is why use a bool? Why not count it? Well, uh, I tried to use uh, int after you, you said to me, and the problem is. Uh, it won't work as you expect because there are more more closing uh, stuff than opening. So your par indent goes into negative, and then lots of crazy stuff breaks. Ah, uh, okay, but that's not a good reason. <laughs> like, don't then fix the counting. <laughs> yeah, well, I I can do it. Like, take a maximum of zero and one one number less than it was before and but it gets ugly and oh, anyway, I don't, anyway, I don't... anyway i remember now what i was thinking um <laughs> okay so uh this is actually a special token like we could make it a special token and we could uh say that this is kind of like a tap in that it should look at the surrounding white space mm. but only if it's within parentheses well uh what i tried to do but i guess i failed is we need to check if if you have this uh your first line starts with open brackets and then you immediately have a new line so like line 18 so there is nothing after the brackets. Yeah. You have immediately new line. And this is a condition that we should look for. Mm, is it? Like, may maybe, but there's also, like, if, if, if this is currently in a pretty says, if, assuming this would be too long, mm -hmm. we would do it like this, right? Or I think like that. So yeah, I mean, I and so yeah, it, yeah. But it's not it's not aligned. And now, if I if I myself have a different argument that is aligned with this, like mm -hmm. it would be it would be off again. So, uh, so if this were a smart tab, like uh, something mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Some, something like that, then it could adapt to its surrounding and see, oh, actually the use style is not, is, is aligning. And so it would adapt. And we could do this in the post-processing step. So- Okay, the, the, this might do the trick. So you check for a next line and see and you, where no, it starts. I, I, I check for the, I don't know like, if it's only the next line or if it's like, it, it's, it's surrounding. Like ideally, I go back to the open parentheses in this total mm -hmm. stream, and then I go up to the closing parentheses, and all the white space in there is considered for this this automatic uh, oh, white space. Okay, okay, that's my do the trick. And then we can try. I, and then, as I said, it would it would automatically deal with the alignment but of course it's uh like if if this whole thing were intended 
Like mm -hmm. I use two spaces here for indentation. Mm -hmm. And then it needs to. Yeah. To, yep. to correct all of this. And that's usually the problem I deal with because we have this wrong indentation uh, test file. And usually my my fixes manage to fix some things, but they break on this wrong indentation when you need to fix wrong indentation. This is usually a pain point. Um, of course, we can also go further than that and detect, like like as as, as some proposed to do it, like uh, uh, indentation versus alignment. So if you use tabs for indentation and spaces for alignment, you can set the tab width to whatever you want to. This is kind of similar. So if we detect that this here is is one indentation and and then also alignment, mm -hmm. then we could fix it. But I don't like that would be much more work. Maybe, I'm not sure. But isn't this something that we already tried and we have some kind of this indentation versus alignment stuff already in Yeah, we, we do, we do. Uh, but we, we do it for different things. Like currently we have, we have sections so that for enums and object fields, mm -hmm. uh, all these Mm -hmm. uh, are aligned, right? This is this is yeah. our logical tab, like this smart tab or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, and this wouldn't be like uh, yeah. This this would be a different token. So, how are we going to do this? And so also, didn't we, like, did we nimpredify the standard library for 0 0.20.2? We did only on collections. Ah. So tables, sets, and stuff like that. But, yeah, that's something, like... Mm -hmm. Eat our own dog food. Okay. Um, where is this? Like, this is this. Uh, do and then do and then more. More intent. Yeah, this do and then more is something that I modified and. Ah, uh, okay. So this is actually, it's already a new, like, is this the, uh, are there other different optional new lines that we emit? Mm -hmm. So, but are these the same or not? Like this is what, what's, ah, no, it's always optional new line. So we already have a no, we already have, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's already a token kind of its own. It's the option. Yeah, but it's, it's basically this template more in indent uh, that needs to have more conditions there and to be smarter because now, no, no. now, now you indent more where, where you shouldn't. Yeah, but as I said, we should do it in the post process post-processing step but oh because only in the post-processing step we have this vision like thing going on mm -hmm. like you are you are you are you are now like okay now you treat this do intent more but it's still uh super inflexible because you don't have the the correct amount of uh, information and then you are like okay i'm in this this parentheses mm -hmm. or not but this uh, like these these things here, most of them are probably now kind of uh, 
uh, legacy because this was all done before we had this this uh, sequence of tokens and now we have mm -hmm. the sequence of tokens and the post processing step and so here this is where the the logic should go and now the only problem is that we uh, lose some information. Let's see, where is it? Yeah. Because um, we pick, we pick this arbitrary stuff in here. Mm -hmm. So well, we can, I don't know. I need to think. We can ignore the spaces here. We can say, look, uh, this is not what we need. We need to compute the spaces. This is where we do it, right? Yeah. And here we don't have the indentation. So yeah, we need this. Well, indentation is included in optional new line. So optional new line has spaces in it. Yeah, so we need this. Yeah, yeah this is, <laughs> this is one way to deal with it. So, and now we need to, we have this optional new line, we compute the, the white space that we want. The post Try to run now an impretty on the temp file, just ah. to be sure. Is temp file now okay? Yeah, why? Ah, uh, no, it's, it's broken. Yeah, sure, for this file. Yeah. For this file, it works. So this is like the minimum that we should do. Like we need this indentation level information. Start as a, as a string with repeating spaces. So beautiful. <laughs> yeah, if you don't indent more, and, and that's what I basically did. This more indent, I gave it more conditions there and then it so we have it doesn't trigger extra spaces length of text but this is already like it computes starting at i right and we don't know the length yet so we need to so we need to do it like this uh i think it uh, check the length of text token. I think it starts from i plus one there. Ah. No. Uh, well. Uh, I uh, one. Yeah. Ah. Okay. That makes sense. That's that's terrible. But okay. Um. <laughs> Shouldn't we fix this? Like. No, I think in several other places you have similar stuff. You pass the <laughs> position, you you pass the position, and you start from uh, next token. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, okay. Whatever. Um, if it's wrong, it, it's consistently wrong. Then. Okay, so this is what we should fix. Like this is. 
where we Well, then now the question is when to do this. Um, we are in this parentheses, okay, but yeah, if I'm in parentheses and there is some uh, ah, but I still like. Uh, yeah, it's like this. Like use this plus more indent, <laughs> uh, unless you 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 are you are in this parentheses context, and there is already some guiding indentation going on. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, yeah it's, you're you're slowly getting to my uh, my solution. Um, but it's better because it's, <laughs> because it's okay. Yeah. Processing step. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, hmm. Oh, how about this? We say yeah, yeah. Use this, and then. If somehow like this, then we add this uh, yeah, and then, then we add even more spaces, so. Uh, okay. But why is it times two? That's your code. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's, it's like we have one. Ah, I think this is wrong. Like, ah. No, we checked this. So if we do intend more than we want this, yeah. Okay. But then the length is also of. So. Do we have a better name for this? No. Uh, yeah. Now do we have the like super nice token kinds for open and closing parentheses? Uh, uh it's other. It's all other. Uh, yeah. But that's bad. Yeah. But we can change that, right? We can say. And it might prove useful for other cases, yeah. So I'm gonna call this sum par open. Some power close. I know. I, I always use left and right. Okay. Ah. Uh, Ah, cool. 
on this other comma. So this is all left, 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 left. left. Yeah, you can you can uh, change this to open parse. This line four eighty and four eighty one. What are you saying? I'm not really listening. Like this, right? The, yeah, okay. Uh, we already have a set that replaces lines 480 and 481. So it's called open parse. So this take uh, tk par dot lev, tk par lev on above, above 480. Yeah. Or open parentheses, yeah. What are you telling me? I should use a set here? Yeah, it's already in there. It's called open parse. Like this? Yeah, like that. Okay, yeah. and this is closed parse then? Uh, well, not it's, look at my PR if you have uh, in front of you line 484. It's closed parse plus two other things. Yeah, but colon colon is wrong. <laughs> well. Well, we'll get to that. And... Okay. It's still Altiada. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So, Altiada dot equals accent Altiada. Okay. So, now we have parentheses information and we can. The question now is how much to go up. <laughs> like I'm here skipping this token all up to this. Okay, but what I can't can you see, now? I, I actually I can just simply look like I can uh, Can't you now just count open and then close parentheses? Yeah, sure, but I also don't want to like this get, can get quad, quad, um, quadratic, like it's a really long file. I could keep on searching through this token stream until the very first token. But yeah, but, uh, huh. but if you count open parentheses and that's it, you just see if it's larger than zero and that's it. No? Yeah, that's that's one way. Okay, so there is this, and then I can count it, and I also need the S. This is always a bit annoying. <laughs> no, it's like I can make, I can put it into a template and then default. It's not really. It's okay. So, and here I can should this be m dot 
open bar, so or not. Uh, no, we will skip the state here and pass it to there. And only like. Actually, we don't need it. Yeah, let's do it like this. What we can assert that it's not <laughs> not more closing than opening stuff are going on. Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> you might be surprised there. At least I was, but this is maybe because of this colon colon stuff that you just removed. But we'll see. Okay, and then we also, we only need this expensive. But apart from that, we still need to search. <laughs> uh, but it's okay, now we, did, well, now we know we will find something, right? In this. We will find the left. Mm. Yeah. Actually, we can... Uh, but uh, let's see. <laughs> what, what if if uh, what, what if it's like this? But it's like if I'm if I'm in here, say, mm -hmm. and then I go to here. Like, do do I need to go to to over there? No, 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 no. It's different uh, indentation for inner. Yeah, but so, and then name pretty would go on and intend it like this, because it doesn't have a clue. And that would mm -hmm. be good. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Uh... I, huh. huh. Yeah, I think every inner parenthesis should be indented more than the outer one. It's like... Okay. But I'm not sure how this will work for this case, but let's see. Ah, it's still, it's still, it's still not correct. Like, no, it <laughs> I think... If we are not in parentheses, like if if there if I have a long echo, then it should do this, right? So if if this is zero, then I already need to do it. Or if if I don't have a guiding. Mm -hmm. uh, la, la, like the guiding indentation. Aha, uh -huh. that's, yeah. That's, that's what okay. we want to do. Mm -hmm. And that's hopefully a better word. Okay, and now we can actually say if we return true here. Then our tests, our tests should all be still be green, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah. I didn't change anything, but just just uh, to, at this point, uh, up until this point, it's just the refactoring. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah. 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 I think I think it might be, but I never know with this. Ah, come on. Huh? Uh, what? This... Uh, 
wait, 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 what's going on there? So... Oh, oh it, it doesn't even split. No, no, it doesn't even split new lines. It puts everything on the same line. Uh, also there... Yeah. You somehow lost new line somewhere. Yeah, it's no new lines where there should be. This is always true. Well, at least it didn't die here, so I got this one. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> uh, it, might, it might do is optional is good. Is this still the same as it was? Line 207. I don't know. It's your code. No, no, but I know it's my code, but did we change something? Hmm. This shouldn't do Actually, yeah, maybe. Okay, let's let's switch it back to. <laughs> let's say this is false. And instead we always take the more intent. Why? What? What's? What's changed here? I'm uh, just spacing. I think. Oh, yeah. I'm just spacing. Okay. Um, and here, this is all. Why is parent dot right not in closed pass? That's for you to answer. I, I'm not sure why. Now there's some difference here. So what? Well, first of all, let's get it green again. Yeah, okay. This way it's green. So there is some um, there is something going on. We'll see. But first, let's do the refactoring. So I'm not sure, but yeah, and make it a new line. Yeah. So it's new pretty code is somewhat pretty at least. Okay. So Okay, we can commit this and say this is the refactoring beginning and then we can break it if you want to. <laughs> and we do. Okay. I also added the opt. Ah, the out. Ah, whatever. Uh, so now all my blow changes are gone. That's bad. That's bad. I rely on them. <laughs> okay. Uh, so 
So there is this invent more. disable this what happens we get exactly the same mm. no it it's not exactly the same as before This is dependent on some do intent more state, and that's a parser state. And I think this this is only this is only a switch if you want to have four space indentation, or if not, you only add two, and that's mm, it. Look, this is in an expression list. We say we are in an expression context. And or in a pragma or in a parameter list. That's it. So we here we have okay. some parsing state and we lost this because we lost this piece of information. Um, And this is something that we don't know from the token stream. I mean, So we want. I mean, okay, we can. We can say this is not an increment or decrement. This is emits pseudo tokens, so that we know if we are in this intent more state. Uh, so yeah, but basically, we you want one indentation with for sure, and the question is, do you want one more? Or not, and this this means you need to check the surrounding code, and if there is not something that's aligned already, then yeah, I think I think we can we can we, we need this information. It's crucial. However, we can we can say. Here we can simply say, if we have a guiding indentation, then pick that, otherwise take this. So then the logic is, uh, I 
and only if the parentheses are not so Can it be zero? I think it can be zero. Like if I'm if I'm crazy and write my code like this. And Is this the correct code? I th I'm not sure, but if it were, I'm pretty sure that it uh, should it uh, should obey. <laughs> so it, it can be zero. And yeah. So if we have this guide, then we would use that. Otherwise, we take the, the, the default. So it would be like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is not has guiding, but guiding. It returns an int. No. It returns mm -hmm. all, all, all minus one if, they can, if it can't find any. Okay. So now. Now we can repeat and say. We don't find any, and the test should be still be green. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we can add this logic, and we don't have some smart go back until and then go up again. Uh, j just one. I don't know. A style uh, yeah. re related question. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you decide that you check for if this we are in open parentheses outside of this proc and not inside of it? Is is there any difference? So you might have a let guy uh, guide be this guiding indent and that's it. And then inside of it you check if we are in open parentheses or not. Or like I I want to go until the first open, like the innermost open parentheses. That's my starting point. And then I go to the next closing parentheses. And if I, in, if in, on my way up to there, I find some indentation, I say, this is my guiding indentation. Ah, okay. That's the, yeah. <laughs> excuse me. That's the algorithm that I'm trying to, to write. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> never mind. But that wasn't your question, or? Yeah, it wasn't, but never mind. <laughs> uh, and it will be fun. Like, it's, it's, it's only a crucial new line. This is a splitting, is enough. <laughs> like, what, what is actually a new line? <laughs> um, it shouldn't be an optional new line because these are, this is what we are computing so but if we only find optional new lines well no that's not good so actually we only care for all these two or maybe even just like do we do we have reliable splitting new lines we do right so we do, actually, but we don't use them. We actually, we only yet. want to... No, we do use them. Uh, not really. <laughs> well, we have them in the code, but it doesn't matter. Wait a second. Like here, we do have them. Julian was splitting. Yeah, and we don't do anything with it, as far as I remember. We had an idea, and then we decided not to Look, use it. But that's not the point. 
we have them and they are yeah yeah they are the we new have lines. Them. they are the new lines that we are actually looking for not the crucial new lines yeah so we want we only search for the splitting new line that's my point anyhow while i still break it zero and uh, <laughs> kinds is not this LT sum open decrement now increment and Only if this is a splitting new line, we say the next should be an indentation or what? How does it work? Let me think. Uh, is it like the space, like it's always attached to the new line, right? That's correct for optional new line. I'm not sure for splitting new line. I think. Well, what what could it be? Let's you can, see. yeah, you can uh, yes, run the. Yes. No, let's see. Have spaces. Well, yeah, you can run the temp file in debug mode, and it will print all the tokens, and you might see easier what's going on. Spaces. No, we write the new line and then the indentation. Don't worry. Like it should, it should for you for me. Um. Mm -hmm. And then we can say this is the guiding. Mm -hmm. uh, it will probably like we can. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised that <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm surprised for two things. One is that it's working and the other is it's not concatenating the lines that usually were were concatenated before. Ah. But yeah, but still okay, it's much better than it was. As I said, like it shouldn't touch yeah. If you you think it should have done this? Uh, in some cases, yes. In some cases, no. That's the problem. We cannot read the mind. And sometimes you want this new line to be there. Sometimes you don't want to be there. And it's hard to please. Yeah, but cases. as I said, like this, this yeah. is the philosophy. Don't mess with my new lines. 
Okay. This yeah, this this might then break some tests, but it will break in this direction. It won't mess the new lines anymore. However, why? I mean, I didn't change the logic for this uh, concatenation of the new lines that were there. Yeah. It's just the length compute. Maybe the length computation is wrong. But no. Line. <laughs> Wait. You know what it might be, and this is also one thing that I try to fix in my PR. There is two optional lines, one after the other, mm -hmm. and then then you uh, then you ignore one, and this should be a concatenation, but you don't ignore the other, and this is something that might happen. So you might want to run this nimpretty on the temp file, but uh, make the uh, debug or develop what is debug, I think it is, and it will print you the tokens and and we'll see. Okay, there's ah, oh, there are two crucial, but yeah, yeah, a... yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's see. Some, no, no, that's not there. Uh, it's above. Here. We have splitting C. and crucial yeah. new lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, this is after something. After some comma. So we have the commenter. Okay, crucial new line. Why do we have a tab here? Uh, <laughs> I know, I know, I know, okay. This it's a comment. comment. Hi, this is one, then crucial new line, comment, crucial new line. Crucial new line, begin section. For the const, I guess, yeah. Yeah, you can see what <laughs> now when I look at my code, I'm not even sure how did I figure this out. But in my pull request, it's line 205. It's it's ugly, but it worked. That's that's very hacky, and I don't, I personally don't like it, but yeah. <laughs> I don't like it either. But uh, so what's what's what what's the case we are looking for? This one, but this could just be. Like we have a power twenty power somewhere. But this is But I didn't have this case as far as I can remember. I had two optional lines one after the other. Not the splitting then crucial or optional then splitting this. Well the one like this should be easy. You can just check here that you don't use another optional new line if there is already one. Thank you, turn. Hmm. Ah, fuck. I need to <laughs> Like that. Mm, this won't work in highlighted stuff. This is the on only the right. Where we produce it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it, I know, it, I know. It's not 
the problem on the right. Yes, I know. But this is this might just be two new lines, but there's no it's comma T D D. Oh no, there that's two new lines. Ah okay, this is not a pro wait. There, this uh, is this uh, is the fitting new line and then yeah, the execution yeah. new line. Okay. That's even correct. Yeah, then go above please. Go to there above there must be something going on. Uh so, uh, let's see. That's after some bar. Ah, before ZZ. Yeah, 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 yeah. This might be the one. Yeah. It has an optional and then splitting one. Okay, yeah. but the optional is from us. From us. So the yeah, yeah, optional... yeah. Yeah, but. We don't split on the optional there because it's already in the new line because it split it before on some other optional line. But this splitting new line is not Well, it's the, look, this is an optional new line. Like, it's optional. Yeah, and we don't split on that optional new line. Yeah, we definitely but... Yes, but you can... You can uh, you can simply check here if if the look next at, look if at. the next look you can no, no. look here if the next token is a crucial new line and a splitting new line or in those above you ah no 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 wait look this uh, is the optional these are not optional. Mm. So this, this you can leave out this one, and you can check if the uh, if the next token mm. is one of these two. Yeah, then do don't do anything. Yeah, but uh, we might do uh, we might not do anything already because there's some computation yeah. going on here. But the thing is, uh, then you still don't have a concatenation. Splitting new line will still produce a new line. Yeah. This won't. Uh, this won't fix this. Uh, the the stuff we we're talking about might fix the other problem that I also experienced, and it's in testing. Uh, you have an extra new line on some of these examples. I think this keywords two example I have in in the testing, it it would produce extra new line without the, this hack. So. It might be still useful. It it won't concatenate stuff, but it will still fix one bug we, we're not seeing yet in this temp, but it's there. Uh yeah, I don't know. Like I, I'm 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 this, you you can fix this one. <laughs> I'm I'm more interested in, in our test results with this patch. And now yeah. I'm not sure if that's I, yeah, I know two breakages that will happen when you run this, at least two. So, but they are now consistent. You don't concatenate anymore. No, it's wait, wait. Green. Wow. But I mean, <laughs> my, my logic is not exactly your logic. You yeah, but, but even still, I'm I'm really surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised. I really expected at least two of those examples to be broken. But this is great if if everything works. Yeah, huh. and now we can okay. this. Okay. This, this definitely works better than expected then. Okay, so that's the test case, right? Yeah, that, that's the one. What's the issue number? Uh, it's... What, yeah, 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 11699. Nine, yeah. Yeah, as I said, like do it in the post processing, man. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're so, uh, <laughs> if you're so sure in yourself, try my test cases and see what they produce. It's ah. this this one plus some others. Okay. Basically. And if, yeah, and if all of this work as 
we expect then your fix is much better than mine. Okay, challenge accepted. This is the cool <laughs> Yes, this is the cool thing use. And looks okay. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It looks okay. So, no need to fix this extra new line that was happening before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No concatenation, but it's it's nice. It's and really nice. Do, do, uh, do, do you want the exhaustive too? Yeah, you check the exhaustive. Yeah, 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 please. Okay, at the very end. And the other one shouldn't we rename these? I don't know. It's always. <laughs> It's always super but confusing. Why? What, what's uh, what's a better name for for it? Well, like I don't know. <laughs> like just just not do this differentiation, like this distinguish, like that. Yeah. Ah, but that's just one new line too much, too less. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and kids, this is how you do it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah, as I said, like, it, 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 you are right in that it could continue here, but the, the philosophy is don't touch the new lines. Yeah. And so it's okay. Yeah, it's much better than before. It... And this might even work for some code that we don't even test. So, yeah, nice. And plus, you didn't break the one test that I did yep. that you commented that so yeah. this is it and I don't know where push it. Um, there's one more thing like I claimed it would uh, deal with stuff like this Actually, I can just improve. Mm, now let me think how do I make this? Like I claim this will detect the or uh, automatically the detect the um, mm. element, right um, I don't know by the way do you want four indents there or do you want to be aligned with the first argument <laughs> it's... or it will depend on what Nimpriti does uh, yeah oh, nice. it's not no, it's not nice. Oh, it's... It is. oh I, 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 I don't know. Let's see. I, that, I wanted to test this, so it's aligned like this. Yeah. So now it's, it's, it's like, but if, <laughs> if this is messed up because you got the indentation wrong and then aligned on top of the wrong indentation, uh, I think... We but people want to, to have this because they but manually this, align this stuff still... to, I don't know, 17 spaces or what. This is still bad <laughs> because the like it touches this this token. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's almost. Uh, I mean, it's a different bug, but... Uh, 
this should be this is because there is no comma here and then it thinks this is uh, this is not an actually i don't know mm, would comma change anything like so does it even compile uh, commas are always optional i can see this is caching in action uh, <laughs> no comma makes no difference. Um, hmm. Well, don't you want to have this closing parenthesis to be on uh, column I zero? I zero. I don't know. This isn't this what it's usually done when you have I don't know matrices or something with arrays, and then you have opening of an array on. Whatever the, column. Yeah, the point is. Yeah. Nimpretty Nim doesn't touch this, so at least it doesn't make it worse. But this, mm -hmm. like this, it's bad. Like I probably I want to have it exactly in this way I wrote it it's because it's this way it's aligned with this open parentheses. Because you want to have ugly code, okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> like, okay, fair enough. Like, okay, say this is bad, so we fix it. Then, then it should fix it properly, and then you are right. It should be on column zero. Mm -hmm. But uh, at least it doesn't destroy it when I do it correctly on my own. So it's can okay. we have <laughs> something like now we have open and closed parentheses? Can we just see what was in notation on the open one and then have the same one on the closing one. I don't, if, I, like, I don't if, know, if, like, I don't know what this is. Uh, if it's all the only this thing is, uh, on this, this is, line. Well, what is this? Is this a crucial new line? Is this a splitting new line? I think it's with this comma, it's a, it's a splitting new line and without the comma, it's a crucial new line. And uh, not sure. I, I would say it's splitting in both cases, no? Because it's not crucial for name code to have there. Well, yeah, but remember that we kind of use it out for the group. So where's the echo? Some very long name. Mm. Down, down. Isn't it this? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah. crucial. And now, but... if I do the comma, it's not anymore. No, no, it's still crucial. <laughs> okay. For some reason. Yeah, so it's wrong in both cases. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, but but remember that when when we wrote this, we said better be safe than sorry. So plenty of new <laughs> lines are detected as crucial when they are really not. Yeah, that's true. Because that would be much work to to find every new line that's crucial in the parser and communicate this to them pretty. Hmm. But and also is there... remember, you also remember that just because you are in an expression context, it doesn't mean that you don't have crucial new lines. Because Nim has lambdas, like real lambdas, not this Python stuff. <laughs> so this is Nim code. Uh, well, not really, but mm. this is Nim code. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so as I said. This I'm in an expression context this is usually not good enough to detect it. But is there any smarter way with dealing with this closing parenthesis than checking if it's the only token on the line? 
I don't know. Like, what? What's the problem? You want to fix this so that it uh, that it's done this way, or what? What's the goal? Yeah, I would expect it to make it something like that. Maybe not in this echo. Well, also in this echo example, but I think maybe some array or mm -hmm. or something would be. Even even better example. Let me think of it, and I'll try to write something. Ah, oh, yeah, I, I, hmm. I'm not sure. So, in my opinion, we should maybe either we, we say it's good for today or we try to tackle this if uh, case expression problem yeah a look at what this is what uh neovim plugin does on a neovim and i think it looks nice so let me just share this with you Remember that I cannot see your screen. You can see. No, no, I will share the link with you uh, once I manage to. Uh, here I send you privately the link. Okay. And this is what happens by default with this plugin. So Which I, I I really can, recommend. I, a, a transforms this into B, or what's the point? No, no, this is two different ways. If I write it uh, as in A case, I would expect it, expect it to be as in A case. And if I write it as B, I would expect it to be like this. So if I start with a empty open bracket like in B, mm -hmm. it should be closed on column 0. That's it. I don't expect it to be closed on column two or something. I would expect NimPretty to not touch both of the ex these examples. Uh, uh, and well, well, not touching is, is, is one thing. The other is, uh, don't you expect, like, uh, like, if this were too long, shouldn't it do it? like this then mm -hmm. it's like yeah it's yeah yeah it's uh, the so that's the, that's that's two styles like two different styles i think it's the the same like you close the brackets on the same column that's opening bracket started well uh yeah but it's also the case that there is nothing after this opening here. Mm -hmm. And here we have something after this. Yeah, yeah. Opening. The better which, example which would probably be this. Means, which probably means, by the way, this should be patched into this. And of course, break and broken up like, like that. Because mm -hmm. if I have a token mm -hmm. here, that means my parentheses open is kind of Mm -hmm. uh, if unimportant, and then my closing should also be unimportant. Yeah, yeah. I think, and then this might this might look the best. Yeah. Yeah, and then if I do it this way, then my parentheses is important, so it should go over there. Mm -hmm. That would be a nice and pretty rule. Yeah. And I, and I That's, think, well, this is at least what I expect. And yeah, I, nice. I, it looks nice. Okay, so this would be like uh, patch name pretty close parentheses. I cannot type this. Bracket handling. <laughs> like this is what you want to do. <laughs> I I just played myself. Okay, yeah. I I I might want to try, but 
Oof. Well, now uh, you have the information. Like now you know what, if it's actually an open parenthesis. You know if there is white space after it or not. Mm -hmm. And same likewise for the closing one. So. Uh, but there is another bug that is I don't know about this. If condition. Oh yeah, yeah. And then this is very common and the pretty says, no, 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 this is, <laughs> it's that. And this sucks, but I don't know, maybe it should do this, but then, yeah. Hmm. I, I think this is not covered by our style guidelines. I like the previous version when you put if on a separate line and... Yeah, but that's already untouched, I think, on the preview. Actually, let's, let's see. Let's see how this works. Uh, and this is bad. Let's see what... You, you can leave this and see if this will be aligned, this echo stuff. So this is, this works. Like it doesn't mm -hmm. touch it as you claimed, it doesn't touch it. This doesn't, and this is, uh, this is terrible. Uh, but it's consistent with the original because yeah. originally you had code like that, right? It's the same, it yeah, doesn't yeah. touch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you aligned it in this crazy way for yeah. some reason. It would, and be it, better, it would be better if it says, look, this is obviously uh, splitting new line. And so we can do the same, like, uh, like what we did for this option in new line, this, this whole logic here. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, we tried this one, right? We tried this one and it didn't produce very good results. But this was the original idea. Yeah, this, this one's working. This splitting new line is just as good as a new line introduced by Nim Pretty. And so... But I think there is a difference because of the order of stuff that's happening. Optional new line is before something, a splitting is after something or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's terrible. <laughs> But that might just be because we have too many, like that, that <laughs> might be the bug that you're describing. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, this is terrible. But that's, that was the reason why we had this splitting mm -hmm. line. The idea was, well, Splitting new lines are under NIMPRETI's control and it can, can do whatever it wants. But this is against the philosophy, as I said. The philosophy is don't mess with my new lines. Um, and it really doesn't yet. So yeah, back to um, this if expression. Uh, you want me to fix it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, We should also fix NIM so that it actually works, like it, that it's actually written in NIM. <laughs> uh, um, I mean, this is not hard, it's just messy. So this is just uh, we need some. Mm. But how come it doesn't produce four spaces there? I don't know. Is isn't this the case of doing that more that we discussed earlier? Um. Yeah. <laughs> but. 
there is probably some other rule going on that that keeps it from doing that. Uh -huh. I'm not sure. However, if you think about this, like you have a new line and then the else or, or indentation and the else, what you can always do. Huh, ah, nah, <laughs> what you can always do. Uh, let me finish, but it's it's wrong. What you can always do is you can say it, I don't even care if it's if it's an expression context or not. Like I want to align this else on the same column as the if, and then this gets promoted to this, and then it works. However, okay. So you is, said you don't want me to comment on that. Okay. Yes, this is really really. <laughs> Really wrong because I can nest it. And then, like, does it even and then if you write stuff like this, you should be beaten. Um, and this else belongs to this. Uh, and not to this one. So if I, I need to pick the right if, and that's actually impossible <laughs> because it's determined by the indentation. Hmm. Would it be easier just to produce new line before if, and then everything is indented with two spaces and it looks Kind of okay, but I don't know what would it happen with this oh, yeah, and what, what nested, nested expressions. And what here? How do you even like okay? This is on a new line, okay? It's already on a new line, but if it's, if it's there, how do yeah. you? Where do you even place it? Probably like this. This is easy because it has an like it has an it's an assignment, so you know you can do this. Mm -hmm. But if if expression is not the right side of an assignment, it's trickier. But this is usually what I ask you and tell others. The, is Nim pretty a tool that should do black magic and fix every shitty style? Or is it something that assumes you're reasonably... Your code is reasonably well written, so it checks... But currently, of course, it assumes that your code is reasonably well written because it's still quite simple and it cannot do everything that, say, Clank Format does. Because Clank Format is, I don't know, 20,000 lines of code and then pretty is 500 or 600. Oh, already? Yeah. It was 300, not that long ago. Yeah. So we are getting there, and now, yeah, and now there's always more special cases. Um, I dream of a tool where we simply throw away this, like we, we tell some neural network, this is how to tokenize NIM. This is, this is, these are good examples, these are bad examples, learn how to form it. <laughs> like just <laughs> just de delegate this whole thing to machine learning. Um, but I don't know if it's feasible and my machine learning skills are kind of rusty. So, uh, so currently, and we then have of only... course you always like, like you have always this machine learning is it's essentially not controllable. Like you have, then you have this black magic box and you hope that it does the formatting properly. And if it doesn't do it correctly in this one case, you can essentially cannot fix it. Maybe if you retrain then it with this new example, then it would get it right. I don't know. 
Um, yeah, but the point is, you can break even this machine learning stuff, and you can break NimPretty, and I I don't see how it's possible for NimPretty or any future NimPretty to be perfect in 100% crazy cases. I, I'm not saying this example with if expression is crazy. I think this is something quite normal, and this should be mm -hmm. done correctly, but but we can think of an examples that NimPretty cannot fix, like as you asked before in this echo, what to do here. I, I, I'm not sure what to do with this if condition inside of echo that is wrongly indented. I <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I, yeah. I, I would do it differently personally and manually while I'm writing the code and that's it. And I don't see any machine making this this pretty and the other problem is what's pretty for me it's not maybe pretty for you and as we we already seen on irc yeah i mean the 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 mindset that you are in should be like uh i i nim pretty is, is helping me to to lay out the code and Sometimes when it gets it wrong, I need to reformat on my own. And sometimes I also need to, 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 yeah, essentially you need to get away from this, this ASCII, ASCII stuff, right? So mm -hmm. you say, uh, look, this is now I, I'm using spaces here so that it's, this aligns mm -hmm. now with this, the, no, no, the tool has no chance to do this. The, the, the tool can do is say, no, look one space after a comma mm -hmm. and then but yeah i i don't like this anyway because this is this yeah. is kind of like putting information into into the code that, that that's invisible to the tooling yeah and i think this is exactly it if you if you really want to use this custom style then don't use an pretty and yeah that's that's kind of the point like if i'm already working so hard to align this myself then yeah don't use an pretty like then that's what you kind of what you love to do anyway so if you enjoy formatting your code your way then why would you need a co automatic tool for this yeah um but I promised on IRC that this is easy to do. <laughs> and the fix is simply to tell them to teach them pretty. This is an if expression, don't touch it. Um, okay, so it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> and then if we say really don't touch it, then if if the if the old like if it's in if the whole indentation is also off then this also won't be fixed so then we could say like we could say in the parser this is an if expression this is a case expression and a try expression don't touch it <laughs> so that's what we can try does this even work um, <laughs> ah, that's terrible. <laughs> that's what it is. And this this is terrible, definitely. And what? Wow. But what? What? Why? What? What did you do? <laughs> ah, you know what's happening. No. It detects it detects the uh, indentation as to be I don't know, some crazy amount of. Ah, uh, no. No. Well, no, because maybe. here it doesn't it doesn't touch us. Try to put my usual stuff like if true then something and then see hmm? just uh, above so it detects its two spaces indentation. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and if better. it's not that, that's better. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Okay, but still, like this is really, I think. Yeah, yeah. Does this even parse? 
<laughs> yeah, it does. Apparently. Mm. And B changed to something else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does pause. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so it doesn't break the, your code. That's that's broken. one thing. Yeah. And the blueprint is broken and they both agree on the brokenness. <laughs> but if you if you use this code now in temp and if it produces a new line before if true in this if expression, it might it might be nice. Nicer than this custom indentation. So you take sure this I'm example. Like this? Uh, no, no, no. You take take this? Nah, come on. Uh, just copy it to temp so we can run it. Otherwise, it will be overwritten. OK. And now. Uh, yeah. well, what's, like, what's the point? Uh, my point was that if NimPretty produces a new line on line 24 after the after the equal sign, so if true is on a new line, mm -hmm. and then everything, yeah, and now everything is indented. I I find this readable and okay, mm, don't you? Yeah, but I don't. Heck. It's like if you had a proc instead of let foo be. If this was a proc foo be, yeah. it would be just like this. Mm, yes, okay, agreed, but I don't. I use if expressions a lot, and I don't think I want name pretty to always insert the new line before that. Okay, that's, that's true, yeah. Sometimes you want one liner. That's. Huh. And also, that's even worse to fix. I think just saying in the parser, look, don't touch it. You you are too still too stupid to detect. It. <laughs> that's what I promised. Ah, that should be it. And there is even like there is this keep and dance idea. Yeah, and that's just what, what like this is simply mm -hmm. what the parser should say. There is some classic expression. Oh, this is oh, there's like this is all, and this is all messed up. Like in, in in version one dot x, I will fix this. <laughs> I would say I would tweak the the indentation rules slightly. Promises, promises. <laughs> so this is the fix expression mm. fix. Uh, let's see if it works. Impressive, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the if expression. And I think case is worse because. Is it? Because this is one thing I commented on the issue. Uh, the case expression is it was Actually, pretty fine. Looks here. okay to me. Mm, like all these three should have the same thing. So I could, I could write a nice template. Uh, how to put it? Mm. 
<laughs> Are you sure you don't want to touch case? I let me pass an issue. Why would it be different than the? Why would it be better than the? Because it looks okay. <laughs> I send it to IRC and Nim. Yeah, you, you, you can see the. Yeah, it's not indented as it's, it was originally, but it does the right thing. <laughs> You're I not going to. I don't. I don't. Oh, but yeah, okay. If you don't touch them, basically, if you've written in this aligned way, it will stay aligned, and if you've written in this nim pretty way, it will stay yeah. like that. So it's a matter of personal pref preference then. The only problem now, though, so this should work. The only problem is, does it break the tests? Let's see. Okay. Uh, I broke it. <laughs> ah, how? Why? <laughs> is there something? Ah, there is, there is, the, it's, it's missing here. Uh, actually, it should, right. it should do this for all of these, right? I can actually. Okay. Like, these are all <laughs> expressions that are kind of tricky to get right. Ah, no, but not for this, not for this else. Ah, come on. Uh, no, it's not. Not very hard. Yeah. We have a we have a for expression. Did, do you know? I yeah, you were talking about it, but I never seen somebody use it. You need of <laughs> what? What? Don't you need a macro or something like that for? The point for is with the for loop expression syntax, you can get. Uh, what's it called? List comprehensions. Yes, you also need a macro, but you need the parser yeah. support first. Yeah, but and yeah, you keep telling us that, and then I've never seen somebody well, reason. No, I think list uh, comprehension. It's 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 but there's an impl package for it, written by Alejandro. Oh. Oh, okay. So, no, he, oh, he has, yeah, yeah, he has comprehensions for sets, dictionaries, and lists, well, sec sequences. And this is now completely messed up here. Uh, but this is a different problem, I think. Hmm. <laughs> it now puts it on the... Line is no, and then it says like, look, this yeah, is yeah. very cool. And here it does. It says, don't touch it, on ABC. Ha. Huh. What do you mean, ABC? It, it, ABC or line forty-four, just one about uh below your, yeah. Yeah, that's bad. But that's a different thing. So this was the fix for case and if expressions, right? Yeah. I'm pretty dumb yeah. Much. Yeah. It's great. The only thing <laughs> is what does it what does it destroy? Oh come on, we're like so Yeah, you're there. Yeah. 
Okay, there is... This is bad. Like, this is some... Uh, yeah, now it's indented as originally was. Look at the various case and... But I off. think... Mm, yeah, this gets indented more. But this is expected now, let's see if the... Let's look at the original. Oh, come on. You, you cannot tell, tell me that this is more pretty than it was before. Problem is, does it, like, does it... It doesn't, it doesn't touch it anymore. But certain? I'm quite certain, yes, by looking at the diff. Okay, so according to you, case was good, so we want this. Yeah, I mean, okay. So only if expressions <laughs> are touched and cases are not. Because we say, yeah, but this, this was, would be it, seriously. Mm -hmm. And we might want to do that. But this is better than nothing, right? So chests are green. It's a simple change. It's better than before, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, wait, 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 no? wait. Don't you want to make this a test and don't you want to clean this up? This name pretty don't touch comments in there. And... No, Come on. It's good. <laughs> like I, can, I can add a comment explaining. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and I think this if expression should be in in the test. And there is another issue that's linked below. It's also it's maybe something that can be also a test. This eleven thousand six one six. What did you send a link? I sent the link before on yeah, one issue, yeah. and there is there is a link on the original one. Ah. Uh, is that even still a thing? Now it wouldn't be a thing anymore after your fix. Does it still do that? Because that's terrible. I don't believe that it the, that this is the current output. And this I mean yeah this this should be but but what about this? Ah that's caused by this if else mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. But then why would it go on afterwards with that? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, whatever. Let's add this. So, okay, that's that's bad. Still bad. And this is bug. One, one, two, 
Did I update the... No, you have it in wrong file, don't you? Uh. <laughs> yeah, you need to paste yeah, it here, yeah, not yeah, in. Yeah, why this this red snake here is now but it's, it's right. okay yeah so let's all get all these then to to the exhaustive yes, like actually So this is bug. I mean, it's actually more of a workaround than a fix. But... Okay, I think that's that's long enough. Already. Yeah. Okay, thanks okay, for listening. We fixed... <clears throat> Sorry? Yeah, well, at least we fixed, what's this, two or three bugs. So, quite productive. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's... I think this is it. Yeah, thanks for listening. Uh, after my holidays, I promise uh, there will be a scheduled streaming service. <laughs> One more promise. Wow. Yeah, I like making promises. <laughs> All right. So, see you. Bye. Bye bye.